A strong supplier network is not only key to running a successful business, but it's also important to the country's economy. C2FO help buyers partner with their suppliers, strengthening the supply chain financially and fostering dependable partnerships. Robin Ross went to find out more. It's another busy day at Travis Perkins near St Pancras. This is one of the company's 2,000 trading sites. Travis Perkins is the UK's largest distributor of building materials and in 2018 alone they dealt with over 4 million invoices. From materials to build skyscrapers to a simple pot of paint to decorate, Travis Perkins works with over 6,000 suppliers of all different sizes. And the glue keeping it all together is a strong relationship throughout the supply chain. If we didn't have a strong supplier network, we wouldn't have a business with products to sell to our customers. On average, it takes 60 to 70 days for them to pay an invoice. But now they are also using C2FO, an early payment digital platform. It allows the supplier to set the rate to be paid early, helping cash flow. In return, the buyer gets an agreed discount. We have excess cash around the business. As a large business, we typically have debt um, and the returns we can get from the discounts on offer from the suppliers are usually higher than the returns we can get simply by depositing that cash in the market. SMEs are the engine room of growth for the UK. Suppliers need liquidity at different times to simply run their business, invest and grow, or to hit end of year targets. A survey by C2FO found many SMEs are struggling. One of the worrying stats from this year's report was that um, more than half of those that responded to the survey were struggling to raise working capital and when they could it was at very high rate, so mainly in excess of 8% annualised uh, and in many cases it was up to 30, 40, even 50% annualised when other charges were taken into account. Banking regulations have tightened up and it's, it's actually harder for those businesses to get money than it ever has been before. Um, so what C2FO does is in a very practical way allows big businesses to funnel that liquidity to their suppliers when they need it at the sort of levels they need. Building strong long-term relationships is key to everyone's success. Travis Perkins wants to help expand its suppliers base. We typically have cash within the business at any time and therefore it's really efficient for us to be able to use that cash by helping our suppliers by paying them early which in turn helps their own funding cost and is typically cheaper than they can fund themselves through other means. The C2FO platform takes around six weeks to incorporate into an IT system. In the first six months of using the system, Travis Perkins paid over £40 million worth of invoices early to their suppliers. If we want to grow our business, we equally need them to grow their business at the same time. What we see is that many corporates are deriving the innovation from their suppliers and, and again particularly small suppliers in their supply chain. Take the automotive industry as an example which is in some change. We're moving from fossil fuel engines through to electric cars. Many of the innovations are coming from within their supply chain, not from the car manufacturers. In order to make those changes they need um, cash, they need liquidity, they need working capital to allow them to fund those changes, those innovations. C2FO sponsors the Prompt Payment Code. Ethical standards for both buyers and suppliers are equally important. The other thing that Travis Perkins recognised was that they could flip the traditional risk-reward calculation by using some of their liquidity when they have it to invest and get a high return, but actually with zero risk, not with more risk. And when they understood that they could do that and help their suppliers in a, in a very ethical way, that I think was really what made this a key strategic initiative. What's better is actually the relationships we have with our suppliers when they join up with the C2FO scheme uh, and this becomes relationships between finance colleagues rather than just commercial colleagues. Strong financial relationships help not only both sides of the supply chain but the country's economy.